Greece is coming out of an eight-year financial crisis which has seen its economy shrink by a quarter and unemployment is still high at around 20%. But it's open for business and open for foreign investment. So what are the opportunities and the risks? Well, to hear more, let's meet Elias Athanasiou, Chief Executive of Enterprise Greece, which facilitates inward investment in the country and promotes Greek goods and services. I'm Sarah Lockett. Welcome to The Business Debate. Elias, welcome to the London Stock Exchange Studios. Hello, Sarah. It's a pleasure to be here. So what are the main opportunities in Greece? What are the sectors that are growing? What is Greece good at? Well, for sure, we're good at tourism. Everybody knows that um, Greece is a major tourist uh, destination. Last year, we hit an all-time uh, high, accepting 30 million tourists uh, into Greece. So this is something like three times the population. Other industries is the, the food and beverage industries, for sure. Uh, that are very strong and somehow are complementary with the, the, the tourism industry. And people may be surprised to hear that Greece has a very thriving pharmaceutical industry. Tell me about that. Yes, uh, the pharmaceutical industry in Greece actually is, is, is very strong. Uh, you can uh, break it down into two major categories. The international companies that are producing pharmaceuticals in Greece. Almost all of the international companies have production facilities in Greece. And the Greek companies that are doing uh, R&D uh, regarding uh, generic uh, pharmaceuticals. And what is most beneficial to Greece? That X international company builds its factory in Greece or if an international company invests in a Greek company that's already there? I would say both. Both have um, uh, pros and cons. I would say that uh, investing in an existing uh, company um, uh, has much faster results for, for the investor because we have a lot of companies in Greece that need capital to expand and expertise. And, uh, but on the other hand, we have a lot of assets that are uh, non-performing ones. So there are also opportunities in greenfield investments as well. But and these take more time. And Greece has been very focused on its domestic market, hasn't it? It does need to export more. How are you helping with that? Uh, we're doing a lot of things uh, to help. Uh, actually, 2017 uh, for sure is going to be an all-time record year for Greek exports. Greece from, is moving from a closed economy to, 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 to an open economy. Greeks, Greek companies have understood that they have to export more. You know, the, the, the domestic market is, okay, I'm, I'm not saying saturated, but of course a lot of opportunity lies outside of Greece. What we do as enterprise Greece uh, to help them is uh, depending on the phase that each company uh, uh, has reached uh, the, uh, regarding its exports, we uh, provide uh, advice uh, how to open up a new market. Uh, usually if it is outside of the EU, we provide advice how to export, what uh, tax uh, treaties exist, uh, try to help them with the local embassy or, or the local uh, trade data uh, What else we do is that we uh, organize trade fairs. We uh, practically organize one uh, major trade fair uh, every week, so it's 52 trade fairs uh, per year. A lot of trade fairs, but Greece has dropped to 61st in the World Bank's rankings of ease of doing business, so it's not very easy to do business there. And what are you doing to make it easier to invest? Some reports say Greece has dropped, some, some reports say uh, uh, Greece has improved its position, but I'm not going to, 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 to stick on that. Uh, what I can say is that doing business in Greece is, is easier. Uh, they have uh, a lot of legislation has been passed that facilitates the opening of new businesses. We, as a uh, government agency, facilitate the interaction of the private sector with uh, the government and facilitate and help them navigate uh, around all the red tape and, and, and uh, other needs they may have. And I know that you are here to promote Greece, but there are some problems. There have been wage cuts, there's relatively high unemployment, we have the IMF bailout loan. So what would you say to investors about the risks? The risks uh, for, for Greece, uh, we believe, have gone away. We have seen the, um, the yields of the 10-year bonds uh, going below 4%. If you see the short-term bonds, the three-month uh, T-bills, as they call them, they are trading at yields that are even lower than, than the US. So the perception of Greece uh, as a, a place of risk is an 11-year low right now. So nobody's talking about Brexit, nobody's talking about other risks, uh, country-specific uh, country risks. Uh, there are a lot of opportunities. So Greece today combines uh, two uh, unique features. It is a country that belongs to EU and the Eurozone, so having a stable uh, currency. And uh, on the other hand, has uh, opportunities 
that you may find only in emerging markets. And that unemployment is, is getting better, isn't it, that situation? This is improving drastically. It had reached uh, 27%, now it's down to 20%. Still, it's a high number. Uh, we have to um, move this uh, lower in order to uh, attain the sustainable growth of the country, for sure. And the advantage of having that unemployment is that you do have this workforce all ready to work, and they are relatively highly educated, aren't they? They're highly educated, highly skilled, multilingual, and uh, having a 20% uh, unemployment means that international investors can easily find the necessary workforce to, to perform their activities. And you do have international players who are investing in buying up Greek debt on the secondary market, so they're getting interest rates of 7-8%, which is a very good return for them. Why is that not enough to just have that kind of influx of money into the country? We want this influx of money into the country because this brings down the, the yields, so this makes it easier for the country to, to go to the markets. To, to issue uh, new bonds that th this is going to be issued post uh, the, the, the end of the, of the program in, in August. Uh, but also we are seeking for foreign direct investment. So this is the important factor that is going to build you know, the new Greece, moving it forward in, in the new direction. Well, Elias, thanks very much for telling us all about it. Thank you too. It was a pleasure being here. And join us next time when we'll be discussing the latest innovations in the blockchain revolution and artificial intelligence. But for now, from me, Sarah Lockett at the London Stock Exchange Studios, it's goodbye and thanks for watching.